Hey, <laughs> welcome back. Uh, do I ever say that? So uh, today we're going to be doing a full face of Korean beauty inspired makeup and I'm actually going to be using a Korean makeup brand. Uh, so they are Clio. This is the package for the contour palette. Is this not like the coolest packaging you've ever seen? I love it. Anyway, Clio right there. So they are a Korean brand. They are new to the US market. So they are available on Amazon. So they're super accessible. And we're gonna be doing a full face. So I'm gonna start off with their skincare. Uh, so I have the Green Tangerine Vita C toner pads. And then I also have the Vita C uh, pack. I know a few of you guys have asked me for like to use Korean makeup brands. And then more, even more of you guys have asked for like a Korean inspired look. So I thought that it would be really cool to just like do it all together. And I've been seeing so much inspo on Pinterest recently and it's just like so soft and pretty. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. So these are the toning pads. So I'm gonna work these. I'm fresh out of the shower. So I always do this stuff in upward motions just cause like, you know, age. Um, okay, so next I'm gonna go in with the Vita C Dark Spot Serum. This on my forehead, been into this late recently. Just feel like it like gets rid of all my, um, my anger and worry lines. <laughs> um, okay, so then I'm gonna go in with uh, the little, this is a little like sample size, I guess, of the uh, Vita C cream for my moisturizer. This stuff is so creamy, but like nice and lightweight. Okay, so if you're like, how do people get glass skin? You know what I mean? Um, okay, I'm gonna kind of like breeze through my uh, foundation and concealer because I just did a base video and it's gonna be like basically exactly the same. <laughs> so, you know, I've been doing primer under my eyes first and really experimenting with this. This is a primer, not a concealer. Tiny bit of color correct under my eyes. Um, for foundation or for your base, you can pretty much do like whatever you want if you want a natural base. If you feel like you need a little bit more coverage, like don't feel like you can't achieve this look uh, without that, you know what I mean? So just a little bit of concealer in areas where I want to do a little bit of brightening and concealing underneath my eyes, obviously. Okay, I'm literally just putting like the tiniest, I mean, I set my under eyes, but I'm just putting like the tiniest amount of powder in the center of my face just to like set where I'm oily. Actually, you know what? Let's do brows first. So I'm gonna be using their brow pencil. This is the Kill Brow Auto Hard Brow, Auto Hard, wow, too many words for me. Auto Hard Brow Pencil in shade five, number five gray brown. And I have been doing my brows a little bit more like cool toned recently. So I'm really gonna, I'm just gonna zoom you in. Uh, we've got this angled, it's like fat this way, and then it gets a lot thinner as you turn it. And we've got like kind of a, an interesting like diamond shape. Hexagon, that's how it's described. It's like diamond, you know what I mean? Like geometry. Okay, and then one of the things about these kinds of sharpeners, or sharpeners, is that uh, like they start to lose their shape after a little while, you know? But this one has a built-in sharpener. But then if you unscrew, oh wait, <laughs> if you put the cap back on and then you unscrew it, it has a built-in sharpener. So you literally run it like in here and it creates that shape again, which is so nice. And then follow the tail and then bring it down like that. Turn it and use a little bit more of the tip and draw hairs. So I'm just going in with the spoolie to like evenly distribute and soften that product. Um, okay, so now I'm gonna go in with the Pro Contour Palette. This is in the shade Mute Hazel. You guys, this color right here, you know how hard it is to find a contour color for fair olive skin. This is so beautiful. Fluffy angled brush. Place it in my cheekbone. Slowly blend it up and out. The thing about these powders is that they're so soft they're not too pigmented. They blend out really easily. They create like, you're gonna hear me say this a lot because I feel this way about all of the, their powder, all of Clio's powders, but they're, they create this like beautiful wash of color on the skin. Does that not look like my natural shadow color? Um, I'm gonna use the same brush. Actually, you know what? I'm just gonna use this one, this middle shade to bronze. And then same deal. 
just warm up the cheeks a little. So before I finish off the rest of the face, I'm going to do the eyes. So I'm going to be using the uh, Clio Pro palette. This is in uh, uh, 01 Simply Pink. So we have just these really pretty soft like pink shades. You got like a little bit of like some that are a little bit more on the cool tone shade, uh, cool toned side. We have some warmer tones. We have some nice like um, like satiny looking shades with just like really pretty shimmer. It also comes with like a little brush. So I don't know if you guys have ever touched a chinchilla before, <laughs> super random, but when you touch these, like when you swatch them, that's how they feel. They feel like super soft. All right, so here are some swatches from the palette. You can obviously see that like they're insanely soft and they have like a few different formulas. Uh, they did say the glitters are best applied with your finger. I've been talking about this a lot recently, but like if you just take a look at these shades, the three matte shades that I swatched for you, they're incredibly soft and once again, wash of color, which is what we're going to be doing. So I'm just gonna use a little blending brush and I'm going to pick up this color right here to start. And I'm going to put this like right above my crease and just create like a really, really pretty wash of color. You're gonna get super sick of me saying that. What I really like about these shadows is because of the how soft they are, they're going to be super easy for beginners, number one, they're easy to use. Like it's impossible not to blend them, you know? Like, look at that. It just like looks like it's part of my skin. It's also going to be amazing for more mature skin. If you feel like your skin can't really like hold on to like thicker pigment because you get like really nice payoff with these shadows, but they're so incredibly soft and they're very gentle on your skin. So now I'm going to pick up this color right here, this middle shade. Kind of diffuse this all over the lid. So I'm packing it on with the brush. So I'm keeping all of this very soft, packing it on with the brush and then slowly just kind of diffusing up to that crease color. Super quick, like so easy to blend. And just like the prettiest amount of like light shimmer. I'm going to grab this shade right here, which is like a really pretty peach. It's got almost like a gold reflect to it. And I'm gonna place that in the center of the lid and kind of just like diffuse that. If you're like getting really into makeup and you're trying to maybe branch out a little bit more, but you want it to look soft, you're not ready for like something ridiculously bold, or you just like want a more natural look. Cause like, look at how pretty and soft that eye is, you know? Um, okay, so for the lower lash line, I want to make it sparkle. So I'm gonna grab this shade, the one we just went in the lid with, and I'm gonna pick it up with the little Clio brush, the flat part. I'm gonna pack it all underneath my eye. And then I'm going to use the little like pointier side and I'm gonna pick up this like brick shade on the outer part of my eye right here. I'm gonna focus it right there on the outer corner. And then I'm kind of just gonna see like where my eye goes down like that. I'm gonna kind of follow that. So it's kind of gonna look like a little lash shadow. I wanted to do this first, but I forgot. So this is the Sharp So Simple Waterproof Eyeliner Pencil. So it's super skinny. If you're using it, you don't want to, you know, roll it up way too far because it can break because it is so thin. Uh, so you want to keep it nice and low. Um, okay, and then for my, so for my liner, I'm going to draw this on the outer part of the eye, but I'm not going to create like a cat eye wing. I'm gonna kind of just follow the shape of my eye. So it's almost going like more downward and they're kind of like meeting together like that. Um, okay, I'm going to do blush and highlight before I do my mascara. So for my blush, I'm gonna be using this palette, which is the Pro Blusher Palette in Mute Petal. I, I think I'm gonna go with this one because I think it would really flatter the eye look. And what I love about the Korean blush style is that it's just like all here. And I don't—I know, I'm pretty sure I've told you guys this, but I've been putting blush everywhere recently. Just like, do you see how seamless that color is? I'm so blown away by their powders. Like they literally just like blend into the skin so beautifully. Mm. Just like the prettiest flush with that, like, that eye makeup. I'm, I'm struggling with what highlight I want to use. There's this one from the contour palette that's like very pretty. This, which is like the more natural. And it's super soft, but it has like a pretty vanilla peachy glow. I think I'm gonna use that because it just looks really flattering. Kind of just like playing up 
this whole area, like bringing attention to the eyes. That's such a pretty color, by the way. Okay, I'm gonna go in with a little bit of the Brow Set Gel. Sorry, brow, Kill Brow Brow Color Lacquer. This is in the shade Peanut Brown. I'm a little worried it's gonna be too warm, but it just looks really nice. I want that, you know, soft look. I think this will help. It really does finish finish off the brow, but the color color's a little bit warm for me. All right, mascara. So they have two. I like them both. So we have the Kill Lash Super Proof Mascara. Uh, volume curling and then also long curling. This one's a little more um, turned. I think I like the other one better. So this is so waterproof. Like it is not going anywhere. You could dump water on your face and it's not gonna go anywhere. Also the wand is like super detail, you know, super nice. But if you guys uh, watch a lot of my videos, then you know that I have such a hard time finding, because I have very straight lashes, such a hard time finding a mascara that's going to hold them up. So for my lashes on the outer part, I'm just gonna kind of like flick them, like make them a little more angled, just to kind of like keep them in line with what we did over here. I'm gonna kind of do the same thing. I wanna keep these like very light and angled out a little bit. All right, and finally, lips. Is this the cutest thing you've ever seen? Anyway, so these are the Ink Velvet Lip Colors. I'm trying to decide between two shades. They have a bunch of like really beautiful reds. What I really like about these is that um, they're very, very creamy and pigmented, as you can see, but you can also like really blot it out and create that like diffused lip that people really like. See how like versatile that is? It looks so soft compared to that, like such a versatile product. Um, okay, so you guys know that I like to overline my lips. So I'm gonna go in with a nude lip liner and just like do that slightly so I have some kind of a guide. And then I'm just gonna use a lip brush to kind of like blend that because I don't want, I just, I'm just trying to f like figure out the shape right now. Now I'm going to take the shade 03. And first I wanna show you how it looks as like that diffused color. So I'm gonna take, look how cute the um, applicator is by the way. Nice and angled a little bit right in the center on my lip. And diffuse. Just the focus of the color is in the center. Isn't that so pretty? It's like so, again, just like same as the eyeshadow, as the blush, as the contour. Super soft and velvety looking. My lips have been ridiculously dry recently and these feel like very hydrating, but they have that nice matte finish. All right guys, so I just wanted to zoom you out and show you this full look before I did anything different to the lips. Uh, so you can see the full thing. It's just super soft, super pretty. All of the powders are insanely easy to use, obviously. So the first time that I tried this lip color, it wears really beautifully too. So the fact that you can like really sheer it out is a testament to the fact that like as you're drinking or eating or whatever, like it's just gonna wear as it's coming off. It looks even prettier because it just looks like a nice like wash of color. I'm sorry that I keep saying that, but it just looks like stain, like a lip stain. Wait, okay, just one more like deep zoom. Cause I'm like so obsessed with this. All right, I guess while we're zoomed in, I will uh, show you this legit all in. All right, so once again, 03. See how like creamy. Isn't that so beautiful? Mm. All right guys, that's it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed. I kind of wish that I had gone a little easier on the powder because I feel like I lost my glass skin look that that skincare gave me so perfectly, but I love all of the products. They're so stunning and I highly recommend them. Definitely check them out. They are available on Amazon. Everything will be linked down below, obviously, uh, but they're super easy for like everybody to get, you know? And ugh, I mean, I love all of the products, but I really love this lip. It is stunning. Um, but all of the powders are so easy to blend, seamless, like undetectable finish. It just like blends into your skin so beautifully. Absolutely love it. And I highly recommend. So uh, please let me know in the comments if you are interested, uh, if you already know about Clio. Like, have you come across them already? Do you have any of these products? What do you think? Um, would you wear this? Are you gonna be recreating? So I just wanted to give you guys a quick um, 
update or uh, idea of pricing. The Pro palettes are $28.99. I don't know why I'm showing you my phone. I could just tell you. The Ink Velvets are $9.99, which I think is an excellent price for these. All right, guys, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed and uh, let me know what you think. All my links will be down below. God, it's so pretty. I'm sorry, I can't stop staring at myself. I'm gonna go walk around my house with nowhere to go looking adorable. Should I do end shots? Should I do bratty end shots? <laughs> you can really tell when someone's feeling their makeup if they do end shots. Slow-mo. <laughs> okay, that's enough.